That was a great talk. So we need to ask the Lord to help us fulfill this great command, this great vision that he has for us uh, to end abortion, and so that every single child, every single human being's life will be respected. And so I invite you to please pray with me. As a Catholic, I have my way of praying. I invite you to pray with me as, as you will. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God, we praise you, for you are our Father. You are the one who has created us. Uh, we are your beloved children. Each human being is known and loved by you. And for that, we are at awe, and we praise you. We praise you, too, for your son, Jesus, who shows us your great love for each person. We praise you that as he walked this earth, he showed love to those who are most vulnerable, to the poor, to the widow, children, lame, blind, and to the sinner. He welcomed them into life, and so we praise you. We praise you for, and we ask you for, the wisdom to help those who are the poor and the weak, and we ask you to help us especially to protect those who are most vulnerable among us, those who are in the womb. You've given us great ability to help those who are sick, to help the poor. We've done so well at that in our world today. But in our world today, the children uh, who are in the womb, they are the most vulnerable. So we ask, Lord God, that you help us in the name of your son Jesus to protect them and to love them. Lord God, children are our greatest gift, and yet they require so much love and attention. Give us generosity that we may welcome children into this world. Give our, open our hearts so that we may be willing to support children. Give us the willingness to sacrifice, to raise our own children, and to raise them in the dignity that they deserve, to surround them with your love. And Lord God, we ask you to send the Holy Spirit upon Texas Alliance for Life and all of their work. We ask them, you to send your Holy Spirit upon our legislators, that they may have courage in times that are difficult, that they may be able to face discouragement and rely on you and find your presence with them. We ask you, Lord God, to bless voters, those who are uh, still undecided especially, that they would have the courage to vote for life uh, so that human life may be protected in our land. And we ask, Lord, that you bless all of those who are on the front lines of protecting, protecting children and to raising them with dignity, especially our pregnancy resource centers and all of the people who work there. And Lord, most of all, we ask that you bless uh, parents, mothers and fathers uh, who are expecting children. Give them the courage, the resources, all that they need to protect the life of their children. Come, Holy Spirit, come. We conclude with the prayer, the perfect prayer that Jesus himself taught us as we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you.